Hey guys, today we're doing a time in advance on a uh, ported 661. Um, I'll just jump right into it. So first step, take off the rewind cover for T27s. And <clears throat> so this saw is ported by Scott, aka Tree Monkey. Uh, this saw is actually my saw. And uh, <clears throat> it it doesn't have a timing advance yet, so we kind of wanted to test test what it would be because there this has the uh, the newest coil or control module, whatever you call it, and uh, 17 millimeter small impact. Take that off. You have your flywheel tool. You can find these on eBay. They're like eight, ten dollars or something like that. <clears throat> so that is a 19 millimeter. Let's find that. Let's switch that. So now it's tightening. Okay, hop flywheel. So anyway, uh, so far I have ran, kind of blow this off, a lot of dust gets accumulated in these. You want to make sure this is really, really clean. <clears throat> and our key is over here, so I'm actually going to put the flywheel back on without tightening it down, and then I can turn so the key it's easier to work on. Now it's right there. We'll zoom in on that. No, actually, we won't. We'll uh, just take that little dude off. Um, I like to just use a little screwdriver at the top. Got my hammer. Sometimes they go flying, so out here in the grass. That would have been a lost one if, if that happened. So something to be aware of. So where was I? Oh yeah. So far I ran the stock setup. This saw has approximately eight tanks on it and I just so everything was even. Uh, new chain, same gas. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah. So now I put a new chain on this. I also ran the calibration just in case. All right. So here is our new key. Scott mills these. Hopefully that's in focus. So you just kind of stair step it down. And the stock key is going to be, we'll measure that. So this one measures at 0530, and the stock key will measure 078. So this one has a little bit more than 20 thousandths off. I mean, it's not an exact science. So, but this is, we'll go with that. That's pretty close to 20 thousandths off the key. <clears throat> and the crankshaft orientated in this position, you'll want the, the flat side of the key on this side and the stair step on this side. And I forgot my little tweezers, so hopefully I can get it in there. Alright guys, I'm back. Uh, and pushed in the key. I'm just gonna give it one more little love tap here. I don't use a sharp object because that could damage the key or change the timing a little bit. And we don't want that. Alright, I'm gonna say that's all the way in. So then grab your flywheel, zoom out here. 
that's good. Grab your flywheel. You got a slot in the flywheel. Line that up with the key. Sometimes it takes a little jostling to get the flywheel to sit flat again. Um, you don't need to remove your coil when you're doing this. <laughs> Grab your nut. Spin that down. <clears throat> Alright, next step. Off the top cover just because it's easier to do. Pull that off there. Yeah, this, this uh, yeah, can you see it? Yeah, ass master. I don't know where, where we came up with that. Alright, pull your spark plug. And grab yourself some just uh, like parachute cord, and this is gonna end up being your piston stop. Feed that in there. Don't feed it all the way in there, so you can't get it out. That would be bad. <clears throat> all right, now turn the piston until it stops. Not going anymore. Change to 17. And that. that. So again, turn it in the direction that the flywheel is moving, because that's advancing. There's your advance. That much movement. Alright. Now some saws need a little bit more advanced, some a little bit less, but 20, 20 off the key is kind of general what you should shoot for, as far as I know. Alright, then pull your cord out. Front row. Mistake, mistake, mistake alert. Don't put your rewind on first, and you can't turn your flywheel backwards. I'm sure Scott's laughing right now, if he's watching. <clears throat> That's okay. Gotta have some entertainment. There we go, back off our flywheel, pull out our cord, no problem. Now put your rewind back on. Not a lot of torque on these things. You know, it's all aluminum stuff, so well the inserts, those are steel. Threw your spark plug back in. I like to use torque these down. 
kind of handy. Scott milled this uh, socket for me, so it fits. That's pretty slick. 25 newton meters, which isn't a lot. What is that in inch pounds? Um, 205, 220, something like that. Throw in your top cover. There we go. Alright, so now, spark plug boot. So now we are going to grab our sunglasses, ears. We're going to calibrate it. So, to calibrate it, this is again the version 3 coil, which has the white solenoid, the orange um, pickup body, and the newest 4702 module coil, whatever you call it. And uh, so that has the, the version 3 calibration they call it and you warm up the saw and then you run it on choke for 40 seconds and then you hold it wide open throttle and then it goes ballistic and you wait for it to stop going ballistic and then you turn it off so we'll do that warm so now choke for approximately 40 seconds It's calibrated so choke 40 held it held it wide open throttle and so that ran for like 18 20 seconds something like that and then it went ballistic for 10 15 seconds I think and then it went back to wide open throttle I guess you'd say and, and then we just turned it off so that's that's the new version 3 it's not the uh, 90 second um, loose so we'll tighten that up quick it's a new change so it probably stretched some but yeah the old the old uh, see they didn't call it a calibration they call it a reset and I guess the difference is the old one reset to the factory stock settings I guess you could say and this calibrates it to maximize 
a saw performance or something. That's my theory. But yeah, the old reset that was with the uh, 4700 coils, CDE, so a coil would actually say 4700 C or D or E. I know they had problems with the C and D. And then they came out with a 4701A, and that was still reset, and now they're 4702. And that is this new style of calibration, if you will. All right. So this is a 53 key. This will be our first log. Again, I already did I already did cuts with the stock key, so we'll show you this and then we'll go back to the stock. We'll edit that in later. These will be the uh, four cuts with the stock key.
right, so that was the stock key.